Morning Show, 13 minutes after the hour. Y'all got your front page. Good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Here's a quick look at your headline news. So a report shows that if Florida were a county, it would have the fourth highest number of COVID-19 cases in the world. Yesterday, Florida reported 15,000 new cases in one day. That's more than the state of New York ever saw, even at the peak of their outbreak. Also, Houston area has been hit very hard by the virus in Texas. Hospitals have been flooded with patients and and officials in Houston have called for the city to go back on lockdown. The Texas governor, Greg Abbott, warned on Friday that the entire state would need to go back on lockdown if the numbers do not start to drop. COVID-19 continues to spread across the country, even North Carolina, Oregon, Arkansas, Hawaii, and Alaska recorded single day highs. Meanwhile, in other news, President Trump wore a mask in public for the first time since the pandemic began while visiting Walter Reed Medical Center. Also, so there was an explosion and a fire on board a U.S. Navy ship in San Diego yesterday morning that left 21 people injured. And very sad, within 12 hours span in Chicago, 23 people were shot this weekend. Last, the officials in Tulsa, Oklahoma, are set to resume excavating a potential mass grave of African Americans killed in the 1921 race massacre. That was a quick look at your headline news. For more front page, log on to the RickySmileyMorningShow.com. Rock T, I know you got some good news about this NBA reboot. What's popping in sports? Let me tell you, man, when the NBA season resumes later this month in Orlando, the players must be dressed in uniform and warm-ups when they arrive to the uh, games, when they arrive to the arena, all right? And they're going to exit the bus and report directly to the gym floor for their normal stretching and warm-up shooting drills. No locker room preparation. No team locker rooms are actually equipped with showers. So uh, they got to do this old-school AAU style. Matter of fact, 350 eligible NBA players, 285 of them chose a social justice message to put on the back of their jersey, replacing their last name, like Black Lives Matter, say their names, vote, I can't breathe, justice, just to name a few. 17 players opted to continue to use their own last name, including Lakers star Anthony Davis. He says, my last name is very important to me. Also, social justice is as well. Um, so, there it is, man. Uh, follow me on Instagram Twitter, Facebook, social media, at Rock T. Let's talk sports. What's up there, Gary? All right, y'all. My truth is my truth, and it's mine to own. Now, there is no right or wrong, y'all, here. It just simply is. And I make room, y'all, and have acceptance for your thoughts and opinions, regardless if I agree or not. You have that freedom to feel whatever it is you feel because, honey, when you're at Troops Peace, all y'all of the noise and chatter becomes that of a whisper. August Alcina, he spoke out. He yeah. has something to say, y'all. And let me tell y'all something, honey. Jada Pinkett Smith, y'all, is the new black woman, honey. She's entangling. And, you know, she just was tired of Will because she said, y'all, we all know about what went down this weekend. Will said he didn't want her no more. So she had to go find love somewhere else, and that's what she did. And nobody's mad at her. Oh, so it's Will, folks. Yeah, it's his fault. He told her he didn't want her no more. Oh, it she, is not Will's fault. He no. said he didn't want her no damn more. If you don't want me no more, then, honey, then don't talk to he me. Go ahead and free yourself. they were separated. Oh. No one said whose fault it was, Gary. They were separated because that happens in relationships. He said that um, transgression girl, entanglement happened during the separation. He said he didn't want her no more. And y'all saw that. He said he told her he didn't want her no more, so she felt he didn't want her no more, so she left. And you know, my thing is this. And women are tired of y'all. They are tired of these older men and acting fool, doing what they usually do all along. So now women are going to get them somebody nice, young, and 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 that's what she did. And you know, but now they're back together. But let me tell you a little secret, honey. Uh -huh. They divorced. Mm -hmm. They're gonna divorce. You think? Hell, yeah, they're gonna divorce. Because of all, I mean, because of the, the peer point? pressure, because it's just an embarrassing situation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're gonna divorce if they're not already well, divorced. I think from this, Gary, they're gonna try to make sure they stay together. Uh uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. I mean, I mean, what's the point of getting divorced now? I mean, they already broke up, so they back together. and They, they said they bad marriage for life. Up. They not going nowhere. They airing it all up. The man. way Will Smith looked, honey, that face yeah, like he, he was crying. Like, because, baby, no, ma'am, you can't tell me that man ain't leaving that woman. He ain't staying there. He ain't going to stay there. We're going to follow this You story. abandoned me. Love, Love don't, don't live, live here, here anymore. Nah. Uh, yes, what, No, don't live here anymore. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it don't, baby. Dang it. No, it don't. The color of the day, y'all, is buttercream. On the high, you say buttercream. On the low, you say light yellow. Man, what's 50 talking about now? <laughs> Child 56 and shared a DM that he sent to Will Smith. Oh my God, he is crazy. I'm going to tell you all about it. What'd you say, Brad? What'd you say, Brad? What'd you say, Brad? Such a vacancy. Yes. So don't live here anymore. Oh, God.